Hey guys, uh, Scott here, and I'm back in my shop with my shop clock behind me. And um, I, I mentioned in my last video that I would share with you on Wednesday how my clock worked. Well, I've had enough private messages asking me why am I holding out, what's, uh, what's so important about not sharing that, that I thought I'd just go ahead and share with you uh, how my clock works. Now, first thing you have to understand, it's weird. Um, this was inspired by an article that I read in 1982 that the article itself was written just before 1900, uh, 1898 I believe it was, and it was about a clock that hung in the window of a shop and it was uh, powered mysteriously. There was no way of knowing how the thing operated because you couldn't see any movement. The clock dial itself was made of glass so you could see right through. Um, and I scratched my head when I first read that article because they didn't tell you how it was done and uh, figured it out years ago and decided that this is what I wanted to do for my clock. Now, first thing you need to understand is <clears throat> there are there's no clock movement in this wall. Uh, there's nothing behind here. In fact, I can take this hand <clears throat> and I can spin it. I just flip-flop the hands there, so somebody said they wanted to see it running, and so the minute hand is operating right now, and I'm going to pull the hour hand off right here. So that's just a, uh, a threaded bolt. Originally, that was a, uh, a, a metric dowel that I purchased and had to turn down, and then in the end, that didn't work well, so I, I found a bolt that I could use to uh, produce this. The other thing I needed is I needed spacers, and to me, for this application, uh, using washers and nuts would be ideal because that way I could adjust them to get the uh, the hands just right. All right, so <clears throat> the secret of how my clock works is all here in the counterbalance, and uh, let me show you. Well, on the back side, I've hollowed it out. I've added a few weights. And in fact, I have adjustable weights right here, which are um, rare earth magnets that I'm able to move in and out to, to fine tune this. And then inside of this, which is a, um, a tobacco tin, you will see a counterbalance. Now, what does that counterbalance attach to? Well, on this side is a standard battery operated quartz movement. Um, and so as that movement turns, instead of turning hands, it's turning the counterbalance around. This is why this is why it's so critical that the hands be properly balanced. Um, if I have too much weight towards the front, it, it just wants to drop down and uh, move around too much. So the other issue and what happened when, when Seth was in here yesterday, somebody noted that that minute hand was moving awfully fast. Well, that's because these are really sensitive to wind or being brushed against. I think, once again, I ran out of phone memory. Sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, so that's how mine works. It's a counterbalance system, um, balanced hands. If you walk past it too fast, or if, I, I'm sure if a window were open, uh, the breeze will move the hands. It, they're, they're that finely balanced. I probably ought to put a glass cover over it, but I don't care. It's for my shop. Um, on average, it keeps good time, and uh, that makes me happy. So, anyway, that's it. Keep voting.